Who wants to play Forbidden Bridge? Get the jewels and get out. But if the idol wakes, the bridge twists, turns, and shakes. Who's got the shakes? If you got the shakes, get help. We're not playing Forbidden Bridge, though. We're not doing that. I'm going to put this down. Look at that. Great. Great picture. Great game, actually. That game, this board game here, was on bargain prices. In fact, when I went to Target, a lot of things were just sold. The number one thing that sold, other than Pokemon, were Lego sets. People had to get those Lego sets. Um, I think we're in the right way. Hopefully we are. Because we're going to be playing something else. We did Forbidden King. Let us see here. We need to adjust. We always need to adjust. This is just how it is. Because... Uh, Go to the Steam Deck, and we can get this set up. Is that going to work? I don't think so. Hold on. Little things I have to do here to get us adjusted. Okay. Up and away. All right. So for the Steam Deck, we got this game here. It's called Moctezuma's Revenge. Much like, uh, much like Indiana Jones and Forbidden Bridge and Fireball Island, there's a lot of obstacle courses, but it's a, it's one of the first Metroidvania games before Metroid or Castlevania ever came out. So if we can do that, let's see if I can play this. Let's see if I can pause. Let's turn the light out. We can get this done. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some graphics. I'm sorry, you're not seeing anything there. I don't want to get the best light and best experience to you. Oh. Now, this is a game that got an NES fan uh, release. Uh, and it's been released on Arcade, Atari, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum. Call UK, if you're seeing this, you might like it. Select mode. Um, let's do retro. I want to do retro if I can. We're going to do level one. Let's do the retro thing here. Let's do it retro style. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so this is very friendly to my... Controller. I'm not sure if the compatibility mode in Checkmate in uh, Shotgun King could have made the controls better. Ah, look at this. This is fantastic. This is where the real game... Forget uh, Lara Croft or... Uh, oh, shit. Forget Lara Croft or Uncharted for the PS4. This is where the true gaming is, right? John Hancock loves this game. I don't think he's ever played that Tomb uh, game... For the where you go down a pyramid, I don't think he's ever played that. Oh shit, that skull got me. Okay, we're gonna do our best here. Let's see. How many men do I have left? I don't know. We gotta get a key. All right. I prefer to do retro because I was born in a time that my first system ever was the Atari 2600, and the first game I ever played. I think it was either Raiders of the Lost Ark or Maze Craze or Combat. Maybe it was Star Trek. There was a Star Trek Atari game for the 2600. Can I get that? Oh, the snake disappeared. Or no, I don't know. Can I go that way or do I have... Oh, fuck. Well, you hit... Tap me crown there. Okay, so I can only use the key once. And since I've only been to two rooms... Okay, jump over that. This is like Super Pitfall, and I've never played that. Let's go down these rooms. What's down here? So I saw Mike Matei play this, and I think that's what convinced me. Oh, fuck! I burned to death. Okay. Don't fail me now. Feet, don't fail me. Okay, let me see if I can get that. How do I get that? 
Oh, let's see, I died. Now, I guarantee you those sound effects are not uh, old school there. Okay. Now. Fuck! I'm burning up. Okay. Oh, can I use the sword? Oh, I used up the sword. So it's like a one-time weapon. It's like Forbidden Bridge, but much longer and much more aggravating. This goes on forever. I can't get through this. Okay. Um. Shit. Oh, let's go that way. What's down here? More skulls, more snakes. I just think of the Goonies music. Remember Goonies 2? There was never a sequel to Goonies, but there was a game that called itself Goonies 2 by Konami. And it had, unlike the other uh, Castlevania games, it had doors. So you have this sort of uh, first-person 3D view. And you use your detective skills to find items. I wish they had reintegrated that in other games. And not just Castle, not just Goonies. Oh, shit. It's the one game my cousin never got to play. All right, let's go. All right, this way. This way, this. This way, that. Let's see if I can get us. Oh, fucking shit. Okay. What happened? Are you kidding me? Game over. Game over, my son. Okay, I got five minutes. Shall I cho Let's choose modern. Okay, let's shoot. Okay, here's the modern one. But honestly, I like the retro look. The retro look is better. We'll just do it for the for the for the YouTubes and the TikToks. He looks a little more Mexicano. Because we have sing song voice. Okay, hold on. Remember the uh, Toy Story 2 character that was uh, Mr. Sanchez and they took him out, made him look uh, like a white cowboy. So not to be racist. That's what that reminds me of. Okay. So it's the same game, but reskinned. Kind of looks like that one game where you're uh, exploring a lot. Ah, fuck. Okay, don't burn to death. Roll a six. Okay, that was a jewel. I didn't know that. Oh, how do I get past that? It's like it's like uh, Dragon's Lair. Shit. Killed me there. Rolling skulls. So he is Mexican. I can tell by the La Cucaracha. Oh shit. Don't want to continue. Probably not. But um, I'll give this game. I want to give it a nine out of ten. I like. I prefer the retro look better than the old than the new look. But you tell me what you think. I mean, do you like this kind of a game? Do you like the uh, modern one? Uh, was it Spelunky? Is it Spelunky or Spelunky 2? Anyway, 